It's not often you see someone in Japan holding a gun. These hunters are among a small number of people, along with police officers and sports shooters, who are permitted to own firearms. Applying for a gun license is a complicated process that includes a written exam, mental health checks and even testimony from family and friends. The police told my neighbours I had applied for a gun license and asked them if they considered me dangerous or if there had ever been any friction between us. They asked my wife, your husband has applied for a firearm, does that worry you? If she had said yes, I would have been immediately disqualified. Owners must have their guns inspected every year as part of a series of measures to prevent serious crimes. We're motivated to begin with. We want to own a gun license, but because the whole process takes so long, some people lose interest. Younger people who want to become hunters get fed up and abandon the idea of owning a gun. Japan is proud of its low rate of gun crime. While there are no official figures on the number of illegal firearms, estimates say there is less than one firearm per 100 inhabitants. In France, it's 80 times higher and 500 times higher in the US, where there are more guns than people. Popular antipathy towards guns in Japan dates back to the 19th century, when the new Meiji emperor asked citizens to register their firearms to protect his position. After the Second World War, US occupation forces confiscated guns, which they associated with wartime militarism. 75 years later, hardly anyone is interested in owning a gun. It's normal to go through all the checks. Since the regulations on owning firearms came into force, Every time there is a serious terrorist incident or shooting overseas, the laws here become even stricter. One exception is the Yakuza, Japanese crime syndicates that sell arms illegally. This former police officer was part of a team that tackled the trade in illegal firearms. Sometimes Yakuza sell guns to people who are not members of the Yakuza themselves. We know illegal firearms are smuggled in from the Philippines, North Korea and Russia. These days we also come across homemade and lethal guns manufactured with a 3D printer. It's hard to control them. Here's a replica of the gun used in the fatal shooting of Shinzo Abe in July 2022, while the former Prime Minister was making a campaign speech. His assassination made news around the world and prompted a discussion about how this could have happened in Japan, where gun violence is rare. The alleged murderer said that he had made the bullets from spent cartridges that he filled with powder and ball bearings and then loaded them into his gun. Takakura says it isn't hard to make a homemade gun and for very little money by watching online tutorials. It would cost you about 150 euros to make this gun. They can't be tested indoors, so people try them out in remote areas where no one can see or hear them. Abe's death shocked Japan and reinforced anti-gun sentiment here, with authorities tightening online access to information on homemade guns. I am against civilians owning guns. Just look at America. There are so many shooting incidents at schools because guns are so prevalent. I'm satisfied with the approach we take in Japan and glad that I live in a country like this. I don't know much about the law on owning firearms. I'm getting old and I've gone through my entire life without having to worry about guns. Murders using firearms are rare. Just a single case in 2021 in a country of 125 million people. Most murders in Japan involve swords and knives, although some of those are also subject to strict controls. If you have a small knife in your car or in your pocket, you can be arrested. But katana are different. You could take one to a shopping mall or subway station and it wouldn't be a problem. You just can't do this. A katana can be carried with a valid reason and must be properly concealed. Once the preferred weapon of samurai warriors, even these are strictly regulated. Owners must register their swords as cultural properties, an arrangement designed to both ensure public safety and protect the country's heritage.
After World War II, the U.S. Army confiscated our katana. So many of them were stolen and ended up all over the world. We worked hard to get swords protected as cultural property, and that has enabled us to recover some of them. In 2021, Japan registered more than 9,000 new katana, as opposed to just 580 firearms. It's been more than seven decades since the country decided to make guns a rarity, and it wants to keep it that way. On the other side of the Pacific, meanwhile, gun violence continues to destroy thousands of lives every year.